Hello, fellow nerdites and geeklings. Rav here. How are you today? So, you're out at a video game store and something catches your eye, but you're not really sure if the price is fair. Or, you've been an avid collector for years, but for the life of you, cannot remember what you spent on each game. So, what are you going to do? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my two favorite sites that I use for valuing my video game collection. Those sites are called Game Value Now and Price Charting. You will find the links to both of them down in the description below. Don't forget, if you're a fan of topics related to nerd and geek culture, to go down and subscribe down here below. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of background on Game Value Now before I start sharing my screen with you. Back in December of last year before Christmas, they were halted on their API poll. They were not able to pull data from eBay, so their site is currently not up to date. Now, they have been in communication with me. They're really awesome. They do reply really quick. And so I found out from the owner that just recently their API poll has been restored and they will be updating again soon. So depending on when you watch this video, they might already be honky dory rock and rolling again. And so it may not be an issue. I just wanted to let you know, just in case you watch this video right after I've dropped it. So, up first we have Game Value Now. Game Value Now is my personal favorite. You can find GVN at www.gamevalueNow.com. I will have the link to the site in the description of the video. So here it is. You can see they have a very aesthetically pleasing look to their site. No harsh colors or tones jumping out at you. Very simple and straight to the point. And look here at their slogan. Right under their main logo it says, We track video game prices so you don't have to. And so up at their header menu you will see various different options. Here if you click on platforms, it opens up a sub-menu where it drops down and shows all the various different platforms that they do track. Now typically they are complete lists, but there are the odd exception and new gen obviously still being released gets updated as new games are added. Here, I will show you by clicking on the NES list that it also gives you the options of how you want to see the list. Either all, licensed, unlicensed, variant, PAL exclusive, hardware, or accessory options. Each game should be listed as loose, complete, new, and graded. It will say NA if there is no data available for that particular item, meaning that there are no sold listings on eBay for them to pull the data from. You will notice that up here at the top of the page in the top right, there is a drop down menu you can click on to change the currency of the website. Now, there are only the top six main currencies, so I do recommend that if you don't see your currency of choice there, you leave it on USD and you come over and click open a new tab and go to xe.com. www.xe.com is a free currency converter website. All you really have to do is come down here and then you would type in the US dollar amount from Game Value Now, the game you're looking at, whichever one it is, and convert it to your currency of choice. There is a much more extensive list here at XE than there is at Game Value Now, so really you can convert it to almost anything you want. I will make sure to leave a link to XE.com in the description below. Now coming back to the home page here, the other way to choose your platform from the home page is called the tools page. And the way you do that is by right here where it says top platforms, you come over and you click on view all, and it takes you to the tools page. And here it has literally pictures with each name of the different consoles that they track platforms so now I am doing this just a little bit out of order but that's only because I personally feel that it's better for the beginners and so the next part I'm showing is going to be the lot calculator and that's only because it's really good for calculating multiple games at one time if you're you know out at a store or a spot and you want to look up three or four games at a time 
online without having to necessarily switch from platform to platform screen, it's easily done. So you can leave it at all platforms if you want, if you can look up specific game titles and what find you're looking for, or you can literally switch to your console of choice in this drop down menu here. And then you can also choose which condition you want to look up, whether it be loose, complete, new, or graded as it shows in the list there. And then also, what's nice about the Game Value Now version of this is the fact that you can have a max of 100 games. I'll show you here by say we'll look up uh, all those, you know, Mario. And so it'll bring up all the common Mario searches, Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, etc. because these numbers are just average values, obviously. You're looking up your average values, not exact values. So these are the numbers that make up that average value. So these are all your sold listings. And so if you wanted to, you can go so far as to literally click on one. There we go. Okay, so you can go down, you can look at the listing, and so on and so forth. So that's all I'm going to show you there. And so, yeah, that's how you look up the games in the live value calculator. So now the next one I'm going to be telling you about is how you would keep track of your entire collection, the collection tracker. So you click on collection. Now this one you have to sign up for. I'm already signed up, so I can just log in. So I've been very slack and I have not obviously tracked my entire collection. I have far more than 155 games. But I'll, all I've really tracked so far is my 64 stuff. But I do need to track the rest of my collection. Basically, the way it works is you would um, click Add an Item. And then you can uh, search the item title. And then it will come up here. You click Add Game and it adds it to your collection. I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I've used this, but I'm pretty sure it automatically sorts them by console back to your main uh, dashboard there. So now it has its minor 1064, so each one you would add it would have a different set. And it actually shows you your set completion and price average, your average price per game. So you know it takes my total value divided by 155 and that's what it works out too. So well, yeah, that's uh, how the collection tracker works. And so I should also mention that the uh, collection tracker uh, to sign up for that is completely free. It's not you know, pretty for it at all. It's a free service. And so now if you did ever have any issues with the website and ever wanted to get in touch with the customer support team, just simply click contact us here. It'll bring you to a page where you can fill in a request. Just name, email address, write your message. The owner is super friendly and should get back to you as quickly as possible on any issues that you do have. Now the frequently asked questions section here just has a couple of very simple questions and answers. So for you know, people who are new and may not be aware of some of the terms used in the collecting world, it just kind of helps to fill them in, like loose, what does that mean, what does uh, graded mean, that kind of thing. Uh, what does NA stand for? I mean, some people may not know that it stands for not available, they might think it means North American, so it just helps to, you know, clear things up a little bit for some of the beginners. So overall, Game Value Now is a fantastic, easy to use site. I would highly recommend it. Uh, despite the fact that they're not currently up to date when this video is dropping, they will be very shortly. They also have, if you go to your Android store or iPhone store, depending on what you have or Apple store, you can find a free to download, easy to use lookup app. Um, it doesn't have any collection tracker or anything like that in it yet, but I'm sure over time they will improve on it and that will be your coming feature of the app. So the next website that I would recommend you guys to check out is called Price Charting. And so I'm going to go share my screen with you again here. 
Now, price charting used to be called video game price charting, but I believe they dropped the VG for a simpler name and also for the fact that it would make the branding for their website easier. Just PC price charting, pricecharting.com. Now, they rank as my second favorite, mostly for the fact that their overall layout isn't as pleasing to me personally. That's completely personal opinion, obviously. They have had no issues with their data, so are completely up to date with current sold eBay listings. At the top header menu, you will notice that there are drop-down menus for each of the platforms that they track, and that for some of the smaller systems that only have one for each company, they uh, have them underneath the other systems section. So, uh, Neo Geo, I'm not really sure why they don't have their own drop-down menu for the fact that they have f uh, three specifically. So that's that set up there. And then under the tools is all the different options you can go through, which is what I'm gonna show you here. So. I'm going to go through a little bit backwards here in the same sense as I do with game value now for the beginner side of things. So I'm going to first show you the lot value calculator. So it's I've got some games in here from the last time I was using it that's kind of handy with price charting is it automatically saves your uh, last options that you were using. So let's remove those and I'll show you here how it can go between all systems or none so you can select all and choose a game and it will choose the games for every system that they have I'm gonna go ahead and select a game here so I can show you what a game page looks like so we'll say Super Mario 64 now I'm gonna click on the game and it'll open up a separate tab showing you the game itself and you can click on the list to see where the eBay data is coming from for loose, CIB, new, and then it also has some extra data over here, which is really neat, I find, that game value doesn't have, which is the box only and manual only price. So that if you're putting your collection together piece by piece, you'll be able to see what you're looking at price-wise when it comes to the individual pieces. And so now if you were looking to be more specific, so you go over here and you would click the Nintendo 64 if you want to select something specific. And then you would see that it would only give you the options for that console. Now with the price charting version of the Lot Value Calculator, you can only uh, search up to 10 items with the free option. The way to get more than that is to subscribe and what that does is there's the price guide here and what this page allows you to do is build your own guide based on the data you want to show you so loose prices cib new gamestop whether you want to show the upc data the amazon id number if it has one that is buy sell loose prices that are currently on ebay at the time detailing can get quite specific based on what you want uh, to pay. It shows the prices in brackets of each what each one is next to it. So $3 for all systems, 50 cents for item name and console name and unique ID. That would not even show you any prices, so you'd want to up it to show what you want it to show. And then that's what your price would be. And then that would allow you to add unlimited number of games, far more than just the 10 that the free option allows. Next, I'm going to show you the collection tracker. And so I, it already has my collection in here. I'm logged in under mine. And so the way the collection tracker works on price charting is you literally can search up these games one by one from your collection and go to their page, add them, or you can go to one of the drop down menus. Say you're wanting to track your Nintendo 64 stuff, it'll show your list. And you can add them to the collection this way. That is another way to do it. Then there is also the masked way of doing it, which I find this pretty neat compared to the Game Value Now uh, collection tracker personally, is that you can type in the names of games in a list or import from a list you already have uh, based on this example here. And it will actually import them into your collection on its own. So that's the collection tracker. Next, I'm going to show you 
some of the features they have that game value does not. Now, say you're opening your own game store online and you want to save yourself hours upon hours upon hours of looking for the images for your games. This will be a neat little feature that will allow you to do that. For only $299, you get 24,000 plus images for games, consoles, and accessories. It shows all the details of what those files will be in, and you can contact them to download. Also, they have something called the eBay Lot Bot. Automatically calculate the value of video game lots on eBay. Filter by console. So you can choose what console you want to filter by, whether it's newly listed, ending soonest, or most valuable, and filter by listing type, all auction or buy it only. So you can look by console, find the listings for lots, and what price charting does is breaks it down for you to let you know whether or not the lot is worth it. So I'm going to show you what I did here by clicking on this one. And it shows you a breakdown of the games in a lot and their values. And what I did was calculated that on a calculator and it shows you that you are technically paying less than like they're, they're, they're showing you the value difference in a sense like whether or not it's worth bidding on but that's how the eBay lot bot works and then there's one more tool I want to show you here which is called the eBay sniper and so what the eBay game sniper allows you to do is you are able to choose what console you want to watch for and then you can say what minimum savings you want to watch for you can say the percentage or dollar value you can ask for desktop notifications. You can ask to adjust for shipping. And then you can show the deals of type fixed price, loose, auction, CIB, marketplace, or sealed. And this is just an example of what it will look like. So that's, that's the upside to price charting over game value is they do have some extra features that game value does not yet have. And again, price charting also has its own neat little Android or iPhone app you can download from the corresponding store for your phone and it's free to download and has a nice little lookup feature it doesn't have the collection tracker on it to my knowledge at this time but I'm sure as I said with the game value now one that that will change in the future and obviously down here at the bottom menu there are lots of other little helpful links uh, if you see here in the main category section, there's the buy sell games. You can actually sell games through price charting. You can list them on their website. Uh, you can get in touch with them if you need to at the contact us section. You can request new features if you all have some ideas about what they can add. Frequently asked questions, obviously. There's a blog section for people that want to blog away. Terms of service, privacy policy, return policy, all the standard stuff. All in all, a really good site, just not my personal favorite, mostly because of the appearance, and I'm kind of a sucker for that. And so, guys, that's pretty much the lowdown on my two favorite sites that I use for valuing my video games and keeping track of my collection. I'm sure there are others, and those are just the two that I use. So if you are aware of other sites that you can do the same things or even more with, Please drop a comment down below, let me know the name of the site, the link, and I'll check it out. I'm always looking to expand my video game knowledge. I've got loads of ideas rolling around in my head of videos to bring to you guys on some awesome topics, so to stay tuned for all of that, make sure to hit the subscribe button, or you could hit that pretty little face of mine up there that I put up there, that's also a subscribe button, and make sure to ding the bell, kind of looks like this thing right here. That way you will get notified whenever a new video gets dropped. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you do also check out the video I dropped last week. And that was my top 10 tips to video game collecting in 2018 for beginners. Also could be good if you've been collecting for a while. Might find some useful tips in there that you haven't heard before. Some of those tips do apply for just straight gamers. You don't have to be a collector. So make sure you do watch that. So that's it for today, guys. From Nerd and Geek Culture, it's Rab saying I'll see you next time. Ramble, 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 ramble.
ramble, ramble, ramble.